Before we get into the review, as always, a big thank you to everyone who liked and watched last week's video. It is always good to see your continued love and support for what I'm doing. And as always, if you would be so kind, give this video a like, click the bell, subscribe and do all the YouTube stuff that YouTube wants you to do. Because YouTube is an increasingly scary place for small content creators these days. Always support your local small content creator. Doesn't have to be me, can be anyone that you want. These days, you got to feed the algorithm in order for these lovely little channels to actually stand a chance these days. So next video you watch give it a like give it a thumbs up support them they will really appreciate it and it will do them a power of good now on to the review and so we're back into the main flow of events after last week's side story yeah i thought that the whole blue man group guy and his evil schemes had something to do with the meta liberation army stuff it didn't it really really didn't it was just an episode which was promotional stuff and setting up for the new movie that's coming out in a few weeks time so boy was my face red that I thought that actually had something to do with the overarching plot still enjoyed the episode I just wanted to point that out for anyone who was just a little bit confused whilst I was getting so interested and invested into an episode which ultimately was just a filler like promotional episode so you know that's out of the way so we actually talk about this week's episode which is by contrast a far heavier and a lot more serious episode than we had from last week so I can totally understand why last week's episode was the way that it was. It was a far more lighter, brighter and exciting episode. For this week we have something that is a lot more dramatic and a lot more serious. Now if one was being cynical they could call this yet another Shoto and Endeavor episode. But, you know, I don't really agree with that kind of assessment, as whilst that is what it is on paper, this episode goes far deeper into the relationship and the relationships of everyone else in the family in much more of an intricate and focused way to just dismiss it as being yet another show to endeavor thing this is not business as usual it is something that goes into this far harder and far deeper and in a far more personal way than we've really had thus far or at least not in a very long time as is the case so frequently with this program and by extension the manga that it's based on we are going with a storyline here which is dealing with its subject matter in a very serious and mature and thoughtful way I won't lie, when I heard about this week's episode, and pretty much over the past few episodes or so, I've been worried that this episode and the general direction that we'd be going in would be to essentially try to rehabilitate Endeavour and his image, effectively just trying to shy away from his past as much as possible, just to focus in on him as being a good hero rather than dealing with the stuff that we're talking about in this week's episode. Essentially just focusing on being a super cool badass and him punching the bad guys really really hard and just pushing all the horrible stuff into the background. Thankfully that isn't the case. This is an episode which deals with the things that he's done in the past to his family and his family's attitudes towards him in a very stark way and in a very complicated way. It shows his past actions and the things that he has done in a as, as hard of hitting as way as you can for what is essentially, at least from my perspective, a Saturday morning cartoon show. I know that some people might not like, like that label, but, you know, we'll move on. But even with it showing these actions that he's done in such a serious and deep way, it's still showing him as being capable of and actively seeking redemption. It isn't trying to say he is out and out a bad, horrible person that is wholly unredeemable, as certain other programs might well have done so with a similar kind of subject matter. But again, it isn't treating his way to coming back into the fold and being accepted again as just to punch the nearest bad guy really, really, really hard and that somehow everyone will forgive him for everything that he's done. It's showing his route back to being accepted by his family as being a very long and winding one. One which, in the grand scheme of things, might we might never fully see. He might not be accepted by his family until possibly long after my Hero Academia story itself has ended. So it's a long way to go for him to actually redeem himself in the eyes of his family. I have to say though that I did watch this show subtitled and I've not watched the dubbed uh, version of it in quite some time. But I have to say that certainly from the voice acting of this week it was really on point and the performances themselves were really on point. Again, I can't comment for the dob and how that's done it or how that will do it, but certainly from a formative side of things, I did enjoy it. I, can't, I don't talk about the performances that much in this program because it's voice acting is not an area of expertise that I can really discuss in the same way that I can do it for performances in programs like Doctor Who because my experience as a performer is a lot more in the physical the more it is in the vocal kind of things. So I can't comment on it that much, but I have to say I did appreciate the tone that it was going for with this it wasn't trying to 
push things a little bit too far one way or the other. You know, with an episode like this, I suppose there's always the temptation as a writer to add a moment of lightness in it, add a moment of comedy in it. And we didn't really get that where there was some humorous moments within it. It wasn't distractingly humorous. It was something that felt very much of the situation, which I can appreciate. I know that for some people that there is going to be a sense of, okay, this is good, but can we move on, please? I understand there's going to be some people that, regardless of what they may feel of the subject matter, and regardless of what they may feel of this week's episode, they might just be getting a little bit impatient now by the fact that we're almost halfway through, or more than halfway through this season, and we've our big bad guys haven't really featured in it at all. They've just been in the background looking enigmatic and sitting in the shadows. And whilst I can understand that frustration, and it's something that I've certainly had recently, as I've discussed in previous episodes, it's something that I'm willing to put aside for episodes like this, because this is an episode which feels substantial. Whilst it isn't exactly the kind of things I think a lot of people might necessarily be looking for, I feel that a lot more people are going to want the wider story more so than this small interpersonal stuff. For me, I, I, I love it. I've always said that I prefer with this program the smaller inter interpersonal stuff and the more mundane stuff, the slice of life stuff. And here we are with a storyline which I don't think we'd necessarily see in a different type of program. In a different type of program, we'd be well well deep into the Meta Liberation Army stuff right now. And as fun as it might well be, it wouldn't really feel emotively substantial. You know, at this moment, whilst again, people might not like the fact that we're not blazing a path forward as far as the content itself for the Meta Liberation Army stuff is concerned, what we're getting here, and as I think we're going to be getting for at least another couple episodes or so, is us setting the, emo the emotional stakes as high as possible. Look, let's be honest here and address the elephant in the room with this. We all know that the nation, the nature of the Meta Liberation Army, we know how big their organisation is. So when they end up doing something, whatever this big evil scheme that is, is going to be, it's going to be world changing. It's going to change the course of this world forever and how it functions. Regardless of whether or not they're going to be the big, big bad when this whole thing wraps up or not, they're going to set the stage for bigger things to come. And as such, whilst that is a scary thought for our heroes, th we need these kind of dynamics, we need these episodes to get us invested in the characters a lot more, because there is the risk that it ends up just boiling down to us watching a program where our heroes are just thumping the villain in hard, in very hard way, just doing some very visually spectacular superhero stuff, but it feeling kind of vacuous and superficial. You need to feel invested in the characters and the world that they take place in. Because otherwise, when you have these big scenes of destruction, these big moments where characters might put their lives at risk or look as though they're going to lose, you don't feel anything from it. And with a program like this, I think that they are going about it the right way, even if there is a mild amount of uh, frustration that we're not quite moving forward, as maybe I think that we really could be doing. I am interested as to what that emergency, that endeavour was called out to midway through the episode. The truth of the matter is, it's either something that was wholly unimportant and just a, a bit so as to end that scene, or it's something that is important but we'll see a flashback to it in the not too distant future. I really don't know, and we'll soon see as far as that is concerned. I am still invested in this program, I'm still interested to see as to where we're going to go with it all. Again, I can understand frustrations with people that are wanting to see the overall story moving forward, but... I can appreciate episodes like this, I really can. But what about you, dear listener? What do you think about this week's episode of My Hero Academia? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you shortly, either directly in the comments themselves or towards the end of next week's video or just whenever it feels appropriate to do so. Thank you for all, all for watching. See you all next time and goodbye! Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, favourite, subscribe, click the bell and do all the YouTubey stuff that YouTube wants you to do. Go on, it'll do me a power of good. Until next time, my friends, goodbye!